Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Brandy with another Oracle card reading for you all. Just a short reading with the Native Spirit Oracle deck by Denise Lynn. Uh, this is a beautiful, beautiful um, a deck here. And I haven't used it to actually um, ask questions about the coronavirus. I haven't. I've used some other Oracle cards. You can please subscribe and you can see some more of my um, other readings that I've done. But um, I haven't actually tried to do a reading with this deck. I haven't even thought about it. So let me go on here and see what the deck wants us to know. So let me concentrate. In just a minute, my son. What should we know about this coronavirus? Anything you want us to know? Length of time, or anything that you want us to know about the virus? Will it be eradicated soon? Will it be eradicated soon? Emma, Emma. Um, yeah. Emma. That's my son. He wants to say hi. Back up right quick. Back up. They can't see me. I know they want to see you too, so. <gasps> Info. Michael, you're going to have to back up, honey. Can't do this reading. I have to concentrate. And I'll play with you just a minute. Just really want to get concentrate so I can do the best job with my readings. So what we need to know about the coronavirus. Okay, so I think this is good. So the first one I got was Eagle Medicine. Hmm. So I'm going to go into my guidebook and see what Eagle Medicine says. Um, let's see. Eagle Medicine. Um, see, it says, um, it has a regular meaning about the image that you're seeing on this card, native wise, and then it gives you a journey. So it says card meaning profound connection to the creator in the heavenly realms as the eagle soars high above the earth. It has the ability to see things from a higher perspective. Courage and stamina are filling with your life. You have the Ferocity to right injustice and wrongs done to you or others. This is the time to face fear and overcome it. Your native spirit wants you to know if the Eagle Medicine card has chosen you, you are at the advent of opportunity to truly see life from a rarefied vantage point. Eagles are considered one of the most sacred of all birds in many tribes and cultures. Their single-minded fierceness, dynamic energy, and ability to soar high are part of the reason for this. This card reminds you to take heart and face fear. You do not, you do indeed have the strength to overcome any adversity. You also have a direct line to the creator. Your prayers are heard and will be answered in accordance with your highest good. You have the capacity to channel ex extraordinary life force energy through your hands. So it gives you a journey. So the journey says go on an inner journey and imagine that you're an eagle. Feel the power of your wings, the clarity of your eyesight, and the power of your talents. As you do this, be aware of the energy of the majestic eagle filling you. So I have two, two sets of decks. And my next one I got was Prayer Feather. Because I broke the deck in half and I draw one from either side. That's what I was compelled to do for this one. So that's what I did. And I've gotten Prayer Feather. Love is flowing to you and through you. No matter what an individual is saying or doing, love him or her anyway. Gather your inner forces. Silent and secretly. Love deeply and fully with every ounce of your being, even if someone or something isn't fulfilling your expectations. It's easy to love people when they're acting wonderfully. The true challenge is to love them when they aren't. Your native spirit wants you to know feathers in, in native cultures often represent a connection with the creator. Birds often symbolize messenger, messengers between the two-legged humans and spirit. This is your time to love and be loved. The love that you send out into the world comes back to you 
a hundredfold. There are times when the small concerns of everyday life need to drop away and be replaced with the majesty of your being. This is that time. Prayer feathers are decorated feathers that can be used for many purposes. In some traditions, prayers are placed into the feather. You can hold it to your heart or between your hands as you focus on your prayer and then tie it into a bush so when the wind blows, it carries the prayers to the Creator. Another kind of prayer feather is decorated feather or a decorated bundle of feathers that are used for smudging sacred smoke ceremonies. The smoke is to cleanse the space as well as carry your prayers upward. The journey for a day. Love each other person you encounter. Imagine a golden ray of light from the center of your heart radiating to the center of the heart of that individual. Notice how great you feel by the end of the day. So that's what I got was prayer feather and eagle medicine. These two cards right here. Um, very pretty cards. Love this. Um, I can also do a one more card if you want me to if I feel compelled to. Oh, I feel, I feel I'll see if something feels right to me as I'm shuffling and when I'm, if, if it, like, I'll usually fence, sense this really kind of euphoric feeling and I'll know it's time for me to grab a card. So, everyone has their own methods of doing things and with this particular deck, it's not going, I don't want to draw so many cards as if I was using tarot or more extensive oracle cards. Um, so, that's why I, I'm wondering if I'll be feel compelled to draw another card. I don't know yet. So, let me shuffle a few times and I'll get to you guys. Okay, so I drawed, firstly, White Buffalo, and then Spirit of Fire, I also drew it. Let's go into White Buffalo, and the W's in this guidebook. I don't know what the cards, card meanings are, or the meanings of White Buffalo, because this is one you can't, it's harder to read intuitively, so you go to the guidebook and get kind of a sense, because this is a newer deck to me. Um, abundance and security are flowing into your life. All things are possible. Balance and harmony prevail. You may be called upon to stand up for others, but you can do this because you have the support of many beings in the spirit realm. Your native spirit wants you to know. In Native American tr traditions, there are prophecies about the coming of the white buffalo, especially among the Lakota, Dakota, and Nakota, or the Seahawks. There's a legend that white buffalo calf women, a mystical being, came into the people a very long time ago. When they were out of balance, she gifted the people with a sacred bundle containing the white buffalo calf pipe to help restore the balance. How amazing is this? It's like restoring the balance in people and in the world. I love it. Upon leaving the white buffalo calf, women prophesize that she will return at the end of, at the end of an age and that she will appear as a white buffalo calf. In recent times, white buffalo calves have been born, leading many to believe that this is the beginning of a new time. When this card chooses you, it is an honor, for it speaks of a time of miracles and imbalance in all things. You are a channel for the greater forces in the universe. With their help, all is possible, but without it, things can be a struggle. Surrender to support from the Great Spirit. You do not have to do everything alone. Your journey. Shape-shifting into the white buffalo and the energy this card brings will multiply tenfold. Imagine that you can feel the power in your muscles and the fecund of earth benefit beneath your hooves. hooves. Feel the weight of your horns and the warmth of your hide. This calls the deeper energies of white buffalo into your life. I feel like from these cards, I feel like it's just... Um, we, we need to pray, we need to be strong, but we have miracles coming, and that is an awesome, awesome thing. Um, spirit of Fire. So, that is Spirit of Fire. Spirit Keeper. There's a lot of S's in this deck. Spirit of Earth. Spirit of Fire. So, it's because card meaning transformation that means things are going to transform and things are going to turn around things are going to be great things are starting to turn around or will very soon 
transformation, take risks, face your fears, break out of the old patterns and conventions. Things are transforming. Just because you've always done something in the past doesn't mean that you need to continue to do, to do it in the future. Try something new. Change your routines and habits. Reach out in a new direction. The thunderbird is rising in you. Out of the ashes comes new growth, and there will be new beginnings. So you, you use this by, the, by how you ask. Um, spirit of fire means transformation. I'm asking you specifically about the coronavirus, and the main definition is transformation, things transforming, things changing and turning around, which is actually a good thing. Your native spirit wants you to know, in native cultures, fire was thought to be a gift from the creator that carried the power of renewal. Fire can maintain life and it can destroy it. It is the warmth of the tribal fire, but it's also a thundering lightning bolt cast down from the sky. It can purify and transform and it can uh, annihilate. Fire represents life force, the spark of life within you, and it can also be pure white light within you. The the spirit of fire invites you to take some risk and face your fears. We often are reaching to situations because of preconditioned responses based on our self-generation definition of self-love. Every time you change an old habit, even changing to a different breakfast food, it helps you begin to step out of a limiting definition of self. Pur purification by fire creates transformation. Take care to keep your energy in balance. Fire that burns too brightly burns out, but a fire that's left to smolder dies. Wow. A fire that's left a smoke. You know, I'm not done. There's a, the, there's a journey. But, you know, with a lot of people, uh, I get that a lot of people is worried from, from this. I think some people overly so. And when you don't have the spirit, the fire, and you're down and you're depressed and you're, you're worried so much, that actually lowers your immune system. That actually makes you sad it, it, when you're sad or when you when you feel like well, helpless in a way. Also sad, also feeling down. It really does hinder your immune system. One thing to do if you're like stuck at home all the time, you do get feeling down, and that's what's good about getting out, going for a walk, a walk in nature, or just going out and sitting in the sun for a little while, walking a little bit, 10, 20, 30 minutes. I swear you'll feel a lot better if you do it. I've done it because, it, and it really helps me because otherwise I'd be so weak and tired and just I'd feel feel a mess if I was stuck home all the time. So I really like that card and it says the journey. When you first awaken in the morning, focus on the emerging sunlight. Imagine that you are breathing in the light. Gaze unblinkingly, unblinkingly into a candle flame and focus your awareness on the inner flame within you. By doing this, you're activating the spirit of fire that dwells within you and around you. Imagine yourself to be a single candle flame, a campfire, a forest fire, electricity, lightning, the sun and stars. Affirm this. Uh, may the light of the sun illuminate my heart that my heart may illuminate the world. I, uh, I really love this reading. I really do. I mean, I was given prayer feather. In a lot of this, um, these go hand in hand together. Eagle medicine white buffalo and um spirit of fire so i love this it's just like and and by two of the cards i feel like i should be doing something to help someone as well and i feel like other people should be doing something anything that you can to help someone doesn't matter what it is donate something it'll come back to you a hundredfold like it says if, if you do something good for someone it will come back to you um you know, even if you don't have much money, um, a small percentage of what you do have to donate something to someone that may need it, um, to help someone else that may need help, it's going to come back to you. The, you will be rewarded for, for what for what you do. It, that is just, that is 100% the truth. And I believe it fully. So, um, a couple of the cards, two of the cards kind of given the hint to me. And I like this reading and I also like that it says just to um, have fire you know you know have the spirit of fire you know a, a fighting spirit a um, a passion for life so, so to speak and if you feel like you don't have a passion for life right now go outside enjoy time and nature um, to walk around a little little bit it won't hurt you it won't hurt you to walk around yes we're in a 
um, epidemic here and, and you know it don't hurt to go outside and to go a little bit in nature and I mean we have a park that's still open a really nice park that's got uh, it's a really big park in there um, we went um, before this bro this coronavirus was 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 in play yes but it wasn't bad it wasn't we this was like 10 or 14 days ago um, like two weeks ago or something and um, so um, it was pretty packed I didn't realize when we got there it was going to be that bad but we didn't catch the coronavirus and we were around a good bit of people probably too much that we should have been around so many people but we're actually a good six feet from everyone there was a lot of people in different directions but they were all about six feet from us and we're outside in nature and nature has a great way of healing and and um you know i, I just you know um, of course we brought hand sanitizer we washed our hands a lot we did all of that and we were fine but um at this point, um, they're closing a lot of things. I, I bet you they close that park. There's animals you can look at. All you do is pay for parking, and it's they've got picnic tables and and the animals outside. You can look at the uh, deer that's there, and they have got a coyote and just and all you got to do is pay for park for, for parking. There's not a lot of animals. There's like six, and they had the all the indoor buildings were closed already because of the virus. And the virus, I guess it been going on for a couple weeks or so but all of the indoor things were closed they had an outdoor restroom um, but um, you bet we used hand sanitizer and all of that but you know if you don't want to do something like that just go outside go for a walk um, and it will really make you feel better and I like the flame idea just to kind of um, look into a flame, look and meditate, and just envision all of that, and just really think, think about what's good's going to come this summer, I think this is going to be out of here soon, and we're going to have a lot to be, a lot of happiness coming up, a lot, we have a lot to look forward to, it makes us happy, because we have so much to look forward to, um, even if it doesn't feel like it, even if you're like, oh, well, I don't really have much of a life, you know, um, we always have something to look forward to. Just waking up every day is a blessing. So, um, But it really does help you feel better when you get out in nature and can walk around, even sitting in the sunlight and looking around at the trees. Just I know it seems kind of boring, but just get out and walk for like 15, 20 minutes a day. You will feel so much better just getting out of the house if, if you can't get go anywhere. So um, even going for a drive can uh, oftentimes make you feel better. So... Uh, but just walking in nature is really helpful as well. Just hearing the birds and just taking all of that in. It really is. It, it helps so much. So I really like this Oracle, Oracle card set. This is a Native Spirit Oracle. It's a 44 card deck and companion guidebook. It is by Denise Lynn. And it is um, a Native Spirit. I really like this deck a lot. And I think the meaning and the message for today was wonderful. I love it. So I want to thank you so much for watching. And I hope you guys have a blessed day.